All right, joining me now here on The Matthew Filipovich Show is my old friend, Jenny Wood. Jenny is the creator and writer of the comic book series Flutter. She is the author of the new novel, A Boy Like Me, all of which you can find at JennyWood.com. You can also follow her on Twitter at JennyWoodAndDid. Jenny, thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. Jenny, it's really crazy. Um, we haven't talked. I mean, we've we've talked on the internet, uh, you know, in passing and tweeting and Facebooking. But you and I knew each other a long, long time ago, uh, back in Chicago. Right. Uh, we both have a, a, a you know a, a lot of mutual friends there. Obviously, uh, I met you through Tim Grimes, who's a good friend of both of us here. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm really excited to talk about this. Um, so one, you've been working in comic books. You also have a novel out. Let's actually start talking. Uh, let's start a discussion with the novel that just came out. It's called A Boy Like Me. Tell us about the book. It is a young adult novel. It features a transgender protagonist. It is about a boy who was assigned the female gender at birth, and he grows up. Uh, it, it takes place, the book, through high school, and he falls in love with a girl, and he learns what it means to be a man. And through the course of the book, he accepts who he is, and embra- not only accepts who he is, embraces who he is, and he has to because the girl he loves sees him for who he is, and in order to... To be with her, it kind of forces him to embrace and accept who he is. It's really it, what's great because it's actually a. I, I, but I haven't made it all the way through. I'm about halfway through it. But it's a. It's a young adult novel as well. So it takes place in high school, and it, it's really just. It's a lot of the stuff that the main character Peyton goes through is just so heartbreaking. Um, I mean, one one scene that just 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 gut punches you is very early on uh, with the, the 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 woman that he's interested in is is Tara. There, uh, he actually ends up taking. Uh, skating classes, ice skating classes to try to be near her. And um, at the time, he, you know, he's, uh, I guess you could say he's identified, he hasn't come to terms with his sexuality yet, but in the, he's he wants to actually be a skating partner to her, but like the teacher won't even allow them to do it because they're both, I guess, identified as, as female. Tell us a little about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, the thing that Peyton's going, he's going through a lot. He's going through, um, he doesn't understand because he doesn't have the tools of language. Uh, you know, he's he's sh- very sheltered, very naive. He's, he's growing up in a small, uh, conservative southern town. His parents are, are very sheltered and naive to the ways of the world, too, uh, and, the, and the, the people in his life around him. There's also... He doesn't want to know what's going on. He's afraid of it internally with him. So he doesn't even know at that point in the book the difference between sexual orientation and gender identity. He doesn't know that they're two separate things. So he's he's dealing with that. He's dealing with the the hormones, uh, raging hormones of a teenager and, and, you know, the thoughts of of this girl that he loves. and, And that is his focus more than than what's going on internally within him because it's scary to him. Uh, so he goes to this class, and just like everywhere in the small town, they think he's a lesbian uh, because he was assigned female gender at birth and because, you know, to the world, he's a girl who likes this other girl. And so much of, you know, a lot of this is is very typical to what we all go through as teenagers. I mean... You know, when I was 15, 16, the, the things I did because I had a crush on a girl, whether it was trying out for the school musical, uh, you know, the things that you do um, at that age because you, you just want to be liked and you want to be close to that girl or boy that you like. Again, I'm talking to Jenny Wood, author of the new book, A Boy Like Me. You can find it at JennyWood.com, on Twitter at Jenny Wood and Did. So, I mean, you grew up in North Carolina, correct? So uh, this this is the book. The book's also set in, in a small southern town. Is it, I'm trying to remember. Do you actually say where the book is set? I created a fictional town, Wiley, North Carolina, mm-hmm. because yeah. just as a writer, when, when working on fiction, creating a fictional town lets you just play and create a world. You can take more liberties. If, if you're doing an actual town, you, you feel the need to stick to what's actually there. So it's a town uh, similar to the town that I grew up in, but fictional. Right. Well, tell us a little bit about 
where where did this original idea for this story come from? I mean, you mentioned so a lot of it. You actually take from from your uh, you know a lot of the experiences from your child your your childhood growing up there. Where did the 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 seed for this novel actually come from? I actually wanted to explore the difference because at the time I started working on a boy like me, I was also developing Flutter, my comic series, and Flutter is about a girl who shapes just into a boy to get the girl, and then the chaos that comes from pretending to be someone she's not, and her journey is all about embracing who she is, and part of that is the shapeshifter, the powers, and how she got them, but part of it is just being comfortable in her own skin as a, as a girl, as a woman, as a lesbian, and that story, minus the sci-fi shape-shifting elements, is very close <laughs> to my own story. Mm -hmm. Whereas with a boy like me, what I wanted to do was write a story that was different from my own because I grew up, again, in a small town, conservative, the South, and I was surrounded by a lot of men in my life, uh, you know, boy cousins my age who would, you know, get to go out on dates on the, on the weekend with girls. And so I grew up thinking my life would be a lot easier as a boy and uh, and kind of daydreaming about what that's like. And that's what Flutter became, my comic series. With a boy like me, there's a huge difference between, you know, wishing you were a boy and thinking your life as, as a boy would be easier and being born a boy. And with a boy like me, I wanted to explore that difference and, and live with that character, a character who is a trans individual. Um, and, and, you know... And, I'm not a trans individual, so I'm never going to be able to completely understand that. But I wanted to live in that world for a while and that difference. Uh, it, you know, not being a trans individual, being a cisgender uh, woman, I, uh, it's still an issue, transgender issues, trans, the transgender community. It's something that, that matters greatly to me, and I did a ton of research for it, but it definitely was. It was a world I wanted to explore and live in because it is different from my own.